my dear students, in this video, we shall see the difference between the hybridization of the shape of the molecule. In some cases, both of them are same. If the hybridization is sp3, it refers to tetrahedral. If the hybridization is d2sp3, it refers to octahedral molecule. I have taken two examples, my dear students. One is iodine heptafluoride, the other one is xenon hexafluoride. I have drawn the structure of iodine heptafluoride. Iodine has got seven electrons in the valency shell. Fluorine, each electron of fluorine and each electron of iodine, they combine to form a single bond here. So all the seven electrons are made use of around iodine here. So iodine has made use of uh, the, there are seven bond pairs and zero lone pair here. There is no lone pair here. Whereas in the case of xenon hexafluoride, xenon has got eight electrons and each electron of xenon is shared with one electron of fluorine and a pair of electron remains as, um, as a lone pair here. So around xenon, you have got six bond pairs here and one lone pair here. But the total number of pairs of an electron in both the cases are seven here. And now, if all the electrons are coming from the bond pairs, then the hybridization and the shape are identical. And this is an example of pentagonal bipyramid, pentagonal bipyramid. My dear students, look at this. This is the central green one is going to be iodine. It's surrounded by seven fluorine atoms. And these two fluorine atoms are bonds are called uh, uh, axial bonds. And these five bonds are called uh, equatorial bonds here. And this is an example of pentagonal bipyramid, pentagonal bipyramid. And uh, there is no lone pair here. So in this case, the hybridization is also D3SP3, 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 and that refers to pentagonal bipyramid. And this is hybridization is D3SP3, but the shape, shape we don't uh, consider the lone pair here. If we don't consider the lone pair here, and this is a distorted octahedron, distorted octahedron, because all the bonds are not going to be identical. All the angles are not going to be identical. And that is the distorted octahedron. So let us summarize here. If, if a central atom makes use of only bond pairs here, and there is no lone pair, both the hybridization and the shape are identical. If it is not so, it has got six bond pairs and one lone pair, in both the cases, the num total number of bond pairs are seven here. Now, the hybridization is D3SP3, but the shape is distorted octahedron, distorted octahedron molecule. 